Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to see a demo on Python arrays. So let's get started. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I have just created this uh, Python script file called as array demo, right? And this is just a, uh, you know starting point of any Python script as you uh, as you already know that uh, the Python script, the code execution of Python script starts from this main method okay so uh, whenever we wanted to utilize the uh, you know arrays within python we have to import those so import array as you can just say arr okay so uh, we have to import this and then we are you know authorized to uh, you know use the array so without any further delay let's uh, go ahead and start so uh, let's say we wanted to you know let's see how we can declare a integer array okay so to declare an integer array let's say int arr is equal to so the you know in the import statement the way we have imported the array is import array as arr right so we'll always start with arr dot array and here we will pass i stands for int okay so this means that i is this particular array is going to contain the list or you know not list but uh, the integer elements within the array right so after that here you can pass whichever number of elements you wanted to pass like let's say one two three four five let's say one uh, just i'll just pass one more element one two three four five okay so this is how you can declare your array so this is the definition that if you wanted to declare an integer array then this is how you can do that that arr dot array then give uh, the pass pass the parameter as in single colon uh, pass it as i so that it will you know tell python that user want to declare a, an integer array and then whatever values you want to pass okay so let's see that how we can print the elements of this particular array so to print the array just give uh, the name of the variable in which you have stored the elements so let's try to run this thing now so this is how it can print that whatever number of uh, array it has now in the next thing we can see that how we can insert elements within the array now let's say for example we wanted to insert the element after two okay we uh, so for example we just wanted to insert number nine after two right so what we can do is we can just remember the position of the elements at which we wanted to insert a new element right and as you have uh, as as you already know that array positioning starts with index 0 so the element 1 is present at the 0th index element 2 is present at the first index and element 3 is present at the second index so that means if we talk from the index perspective we wanted to insert a new element at second index right so how we can do that the name of the array integer dot insert right sorry dot insert here you are supposed to give the position of an element that you want to add right so let's say we wanted to add it at the second position and the actual value that you want to add so let's say we wanted to add number nine at second position right so after doing this insert operation if we again print the array elements let me just you know modify it a bit that let me just mention here that array before insertion and i'll just include the curly braces you must be remembering this from our last lesson and then i'll just copy this line 
and I'll just replace this after. Let's try to run this now. So as you can see that array before insertion. So this was our initial array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. But we inserted then later on we inserted the value equal to 9 at the second position. Right. So 0, 1 and 2. This is the second position. So this is how you can add elements to array the whichever, whichever index you wanted to add the elements to right then rest of the array will remain the same right now let's say here as you see right in our now new array uh, the occurrence of number five is coming like two times we have entered this particular element two times so if we wanted to count that what is what is the count of a particular element in the array then the python array library gives you a you know api or function for that matter to count using which you can count the elements right so how to do that let's try to see that so you have to give name of your array which is int array dot count and here you have to give that which number you wanted to count okay so if you print this particular thing with some kind of you know string that count of occurrence of five is right and i'll just include it in the curly braces okay let's see what it prints so if you see count of number uh, count of occurrence of five is two that means five in this particular array uh, number five has occurred two times which is correct right so on the same lines you can also reverse the array right so for example you just wanted to reverse the occurrence you just wanted to you know flip the positions now currently five is at the last you wanted to bring it to the first like you have to reverse the array so for that python gives you a api or a method called as int array dot reverse you just have to call this particular method and now if you print uh, the array like uh, you know just mention array after reversal and just print the elements of the array int arr okay let's write up here and if you print it now so see array after reversal is it is still is uh, arrays of uh, integer type but the elements if you see all those elements are printed or all those elements are allocated in a reverse order right so this is the impact of reverse method in the python array okay then let's say after this we wanted to see that how we can you know drop certain element from the array or remove certain element from the array so array int array dot remove here you have to give which number you wanted to remove so let's say nine and again if i print this particular array array after element removal okay let's see what it prints so in this we have removed the number 9 so if you see earlier the in the print statement it was printing the number 9 but if you see this particular caption array after the element removal is so here if you see we don't see number 9 here because that has been removed okay so these are uh, the few important things that uh, you should know uh, when dealing with the arrays so basically how to declare an array if you wanted to declare an int array you can put i here you can give i here if you wanted to uh, create an array with a double then you can give something called as d and then you can list down the elements okay and one more thing i just forgot to you know tell that if we wanted to display the element at a particular position right then how we can do that like we can do the print and let's say we wanted to display the element at let's say fifth location right 
so element at fifth position equals to int array and you have to give the fifth position number so if you see the output now let me just run the program right the fifth position we have the number as one right so that's how it can print the number one okay so uh, this is how you can deal with the python arrays uh, uh, guys that uh, uh, you know there are multiple things you can manu uh, manipulate in terms of actual coding and all but these are the very important things that we usually need uh, let's say you are using arrays uh, in your project or whichever uh, you are dealing with let's say arrays then these are you know some of the very important thing that we usually need okay I hope uh, you understood the concept uh, of how to declare and how to deal with the arrays. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.